my friends, welcome back here. Simple Italian cooking and uh, those of you who follow this channel know this is easy quality homemade food and today we got a very traditional dish from Lombardy region in northern Italy. Have a look. Wow, look at this. Yeah, and so this is called polenta and uh, you can use it as a side dish or as a main dish and uh, basically it is a uh, corn flour dish made of corn flour you can combine it with meat, with uh, cheese or with vegetables and today we will combine it with uh, fresh white asparagus. Have a look and let's see what we need for this. Uh, so obviously we will need uh, this um, polenta um, corn flour, yellow stuff. We will mix this in water and olive oil and it will become very nice and delicious. And uh, this is one part of the dish and in the other pot we will prepare the asparagus. The asparagus, this is about 300 grams of asparagus for three persons. We will also need about 300 grams of this um, corn flour. What else we will need? Uh, our best friend olive oil of course. We will add a little shot of um, white wine. A uh, little bit of butter for uh, the polenta. Perhaps two, um, two small pot uh, tomatoes for the asparagus, salt, black pepper, a bit of black salt and um, also as topping some slices of uh, this Parmigiano Reggiano. And that's it. Okay my friends, so uh, uh, talking about cooking times, uh, the polenta will need about 45 minutes of cooking while uh, the asparagus will only need 15 minutes but we will have to do some pre-work and pre-work with the asparagus means we will cut the bad part. So you see there are some asparagus that have a long uh, bottom part that is white so we will have to cut this all because this tastes bitter and is not so easy to, uh, to chew. And then we have uh, asparagus um, that has a smaller white part so we will only cut a little bit of it and uh, the remaining part we can use. And so we'll keep doing this, cutting. So we are here, a few more, let's say this. Oh yeah, this, you see, this is, this is very, very difficult to cut, uh, to, um, to chew. So let's cut a bigger part of this piece. And so on, and then we will start with the cooking process. Ah, there you are. Ah, okay, breaking news, my friends. I also took this um, mince leaves from my garden. They will add a little bit of value to the asparagus. So the bottom parts are cut and now we are ready to cut the asparagus in small pieces um, about the size. Of course the heads can be a little bit longer. The heads are the best part of the asparagus. Rich of, um, of what? Of uh, vitamins. Well, of anything that you can think of that is good and healthy. So um, I thought, and it's also tasty, not only healthy, it's also tasty. So today we are going to do a nice vegetarian dish and um, we will enrich this with this beautiful and delicious Parmigiano Reggiano. And uh, so what we will do now is we will, um, we will cook this on low flame for about 15 minutes together with a shot of olive oil um, but I will turn this on only later because we have, we have to start with the polenta. I just do the cutting work and then we will move on with the polenta cooking. Uh, okay my friends, so um, the asparagus part is almost done. I will add these um, two tomatoes just for, for the color. Yeah. Then we will add a little bit of salt, yeah, this amount, perhaps a little bit of black pepper, and my famous uh, mince leaves, fresh from the season, I will half them. And so this is ready, we will turn this on 30 minutes after we have started cooking the polenta. Okay, my friends, so uh, this is about 750 milliliters of water boiling together with some salt. 300 grams of uh, the corn powder and now I'm slowly mixing it inside, very slowly. 
And uh, so my job now will be to keep steering for about 45 minutes. Wow. This is a good exercise for my right arm. And let's see if I manage to do so. So um, yeah, just keep steering, steering, steering. And uh, I will see you back in a few minutes. Okay, so this is how it looks after about um, two minutes of steering. And our best friend needs to be added. One shot. Yeah. So this will add some value. And let's keep steering. Okay, breaking news my friends. I've realized we need a little bit more water. So uh, let's say one liter of water, 300 grams of um, corn flour. That will be the right mix. And I will also add a little bit of this beautiful butter to make it um, a bit more creamy in addition to the olive oil. And let's um, keep steering for... Okay, my friends, a few more minutes have passed. And I've added a few more shots of olive oil into this polenta. And yeah, it smells good. I think I can do a little quality check. It's good, it's already good. But let's keep steering. It's good exercise for my arm. And listen, listen to the sound of this asparagus. Now is the time to add also a little shot of white wine. And let it keep cooking on low flame. And so this is really, really hard work here. Steering for about 30 minutes, uh, really tough. And so here we got, um, oh my God, yeah. This, this is really nice taste. So I think, I think it's almost ready, the asparagus, yeah. Yeah, I think we are ready to prepare the plates. Okay, my friends, so um, I managed to get this uh, beautiful round shape of um, of the polenta, my trick was I put it into this um, into this um, plate, turn around, and then um, press a little bit with uh, the spoon, and so we got this nice cake shape, round cake shape, and now we're ready to add on top the asparagus. Yes. And also this beautiful sauce of white wine and olive. Okay, and so now we can also add a few pieces of um, parmigiano, yeah, like this, and a little bit of my famous black salt. That's it. Wow, look at this. So this is polenta, with white asparagus, parmigiano reggiano, a few tomatoes, Olive oil. Ah, okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. As you know, down there on this side, there's a subscribe button. Feel free to do so because there will come many, many more videos. And uh, yeah, feel free to like, to share, to comment. I will answer any of your questions. And uh, let's do the big test now. Wow, so I will get this guy, a little bit of parmigiano, and of course, the polenta. Mmm. Mmm.